the article I'm about to read is probably, without a doubt, going to upset quite a few Christians. But we are expecting this, and it's going to get a lot worse in the coming days. Check this out. YouTube will censor non-rule-breaking content, manipulate search results, and work with ADL. Let's go down a little bit. I'm just going to read the comments that YouTube themselves have stated. It says here, We'll soon be applying tougher treatment to videos that aren't illegal but have been flagged by users as potential violations of our policies on hate speech and violent extremism. In other words, it's going to be a free-for-all for all those who embrace sin on a daily basis and hate Christians to start tagging our videos. It goes on. If we find that these videos don't violate our policies but contain controversial religious or supremacist content, they will be placed in a limited state. The videos will remain on YouTube behind an interstitial, won't be recommended, won't be monetized, and won't have key features, including comments, suggested videos, and likes. And then scrolling down a little bit more, it says, We've started rolling out features from Jigsaw's redirect method to YouTube. When people search for sensitive keywords on YouTube, they will be redirected towards a playlist or curated YouTube videos that directly confront and debunk violent extremist messages. In other words, if you go looking for something that says homosexual marriage is a sin, or if you start looking for something that the Pope is Antichrist, they're going to redirect you to videos that say the exact opposite, to try to calm you down and to shut you up. They even go on to say that we also continue to amplify YouTube voices speaking out against hate and radicalization through our YouTube Creators for Change program. In other words, this has already been all set up, and they've been testing this for a while. You do realize what YouTube is saying here, right? They are boldly declaring that if you're a Christian, and when I say Christian, I mean Bible-believing, obedient child of God who will not declare Allah is God, homosexual marriage is okay, or the Vatican is a Christian organization, that type of Christian will be censored on YouTube. But the truth is, they have already been censoring Christians for years. Ever notice how the amount of hits on my videos have gone down lately? Now, I know 8,500 subscribers isn't a lot, but as is also obvious, rarely do we see over 1,000 hits per video, even though when I had next to no subscribers, the hits were off the chart. Plus, when they censor the hits, they're also preventing subscribers. And I've also been noticing an awful lot of subscribers have been vacuumed off. Just yesterday, I noticed I was at 8,551, and I refreshed the screen to see how it was, and it dropped to 38. I lost 13 subscribers in one refresh. Well, seeing how Google controls YouTube to the core, and just as my website has been censored on Google for years now, YouTube is also going to be censoring me, and quite a few other Christians I know personally, some from the same church I pastor. But do you recall this video I did years ago, wherein all that I shared was 100% historically accurate, and I even shared pictures to prove the Nazis we're saluting the Pope on camera. Yet YouTube emailed me this statement that the video would be blocked in Israel and Germany, as well as a few other nations, so as to comply with so-called local laws. Or what of the Roman Catholic commercial wherein no copyright infringements occurred whatsoever, yet YouTube pulled all three of those videos because Roman Catholics, who push a progressive pro-sin agenda, complained about it. You know, I believe the only reason this article came out yesterday was because YouTube finally perfected their censoring abilities and toys by testing them on sites like mine and others over the years. And now they can remove our comment section or our suggested video section and even videos we like from anyone in the public from seeing any of that. They will now use their newly structured tools in their arsenal of hate to prevent the love and truth of Jesus Christ from being shared. This is how much Satan fears the truth we preach, and I praise God for that. Now, there is absolutely nothing to worry about here. As students of prophecy, we know there is not a single Bible prophecy from Genesis to Revelation that says they're going to be successful in preventing the loud cry from going forth. Not one prophecy. So let them flex their muscles all they like. As we speak, the Lord has already made it possible for those that need to hear the truth will hear it. So keep making the videos, keep proclaiming the truth, and keep walking in the Lord. The fact they are doing all they can to prevent what prophecy stated eons ago would be happening right now proves Satan knows he has little time left. And that, my brothers and sisters, is the best news a Bible-believing, obedient child of God 
loves to hear. Christ is risen, and Christ will come again. And so God's people shout, Indeed, come, Lord Jesus. Thank you for watching. God bless.